every single day you wake up with this gnawing, aching feeling in your belly that there's something more that you're meant to be doing. But yet every single morning you wake up and do the exact same thing. Some of you go to a nine to five job that you absolutely can't stand. That job intentionally from the beginning could have been just a temporary place because you had your vision, you had your goals, and you took this job because you knew that this was only going to be a temporary place for where you were going. It was going to get you to where you were going. However, this nine to five, this place of employment, the things that you do every single day has become common ground. Somewhere along the line, you lost your drive. Somewhere along the line, you lost your hope. Somewhere along the line, you may have even lost your vision, but there's still something deep down inside of you, in the pit of your gut, that wakes you up every single day, and there's this thought that comes to you, there's got to be more to my life than this, and it is. I'm talking to the women and the men that come to my videos, that check my videos, that watch other people's videos, empowerment videos, and while you're watching these videos, you're like, yeah, 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 I agree with that, yup. And you're high-fiving and you're, uh, you're coming into agreement with what people are saying because you're feeling it. And you're feeling it for a reason because there's something that's calling you to do something greater, to do something more than what you're doing right now. I want you to get your, your drive back. I want you to get your hope back. I want you to get your dreams back. I don't want you getting excited to see that Angel uploaded another video. I want you to get excited because you uploaded another video. I want you to get excited for the things that you're doing. It's great to be excited and to share the celebration of others, but what about you? What about you? These videos are speaking to you. You've got big dreams, but somewhere along the line you settled. And what, one of the reasons that I believe that the majority of the reason that people settle is because they don't have enough support. They, they don't have the support that they think that they need. And I also think that people shrink back because they're afraid to step outside of their, their friendships. You know, maybe possibly they've been friends with some of these people that they're still hanging around for years, 10, 15, 20 years, and they can't picture their life without them. You know, what would I do without this person in my life? But if that person isn't adding any value to your life, why are you still there? Like, this is your life. Like, this is life. This isn't a piece of paper. This is your life. You have got to handle your life with care, with responsibility, with integrity, with the knowing that you're not going to have every day. Every day is not going to be a gift for you. There's going to be a morning that one of us doesn't wake up. What are you going to regret? I mean, let's be honest. We're talking, right? It's, it's just me and you. We're talking, right? Let's just, be, let's just be honest. Let's put it all out on the table. What are you afraid of? Like, what are you afraid of? Get real clear on what you're afraid of. Actually write it down. Write down what it is. Write down the whole scenario <laughs> of what it is that you are afraid that's going to happen if you step out there and do something about what it is that you're being called to do. Like how long are you going to wait? How long are you going to wait? Are you going to wait until you're thinner? Are you going to wait until you finish school? Are you going to wait until you get married? Are you going to wait until the kids graduate high school? Like, what, what, are you, what are you waiting for? What are you afraid of? Get real clear on what you're afraid of and write it down so you can see just how silly it really is. You know, a lot of people come to me because they lack confidence. They think that, oh my goodness, Angel, you're so confident. How do you do that? How do you do this? And how do you do X, Y, and Z? Confidence comes from just stepping out there and doing it. Like, that's it. It's, there is no secret. <laughs> 
There is no magic one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps. I can give you tips, I can give you tricks, I can tell you my story. But your true authentic confidence is going to come from you stepping out and doing the thing that you're afraid to do. That's it. What are you, what are you waiting for? You know what you're called to do. You know your purpose. You know that God is calling you to start that mentorship program. You know that God is calling you to start that life coaching business. You know that God is calling you to go and be and do and have things that possibly nobody in your family has ever even accomplished. You don't even know what it looks like. You don't even have a blueprint. The only thing you have is your intuition and you're afraid to follow it because you're afraid of what other people are gonna think if you fail. I've been there. Secret is, or the reality is, people really aren't thinking about you as much as you give them credit. People are thinking about themselves. <laughs> people are thinking about themselves. So if you're thinking that, what are people gonna say? Probably nothing, and if they do, so what? How is that going to affect you? How is the opinions of other people going to alter who you are? You know you. You know the truth about you. People talk about me all the time, but they don't know me. They don't know the me behind the off of this camera. They don't know if I can take it to my Mary Mary song. They don't know how much I prayed. They don't know how much I cried. They don't know how much I gave. What are you waiting for? There's never going to be a perfect opportunity until you create it. There's never going to be a perfect time to do anything until you create it. You'll never have all of your I's dotted and your T's crossed until you pull out your pen and dot your I's and cross your T's. What are you waiting for? Honestly, what are you waiting for? Because I literally had to get to the end of myself. I got tired of trying to do things my way. And when I say my way, meaning I was waiting to not be so scared. I was waiting to gain a little bit more confidence. Like I was waiting on all these things that don't come until you actually take action. So what are you waiting on? I ask you again, what are you waiting on? What are you afraid of? And when... Are you going to give yourself permission to be awesome? When are you going to give yourself permission to be good enough? When are you going to give yourself permission to forgive yourself from your past mistakes? When? At what point are you going to say, okay, this is it? Like, when are you going to get to the end of yourself and get tired of doing things your way? When are you going to get to the end of yourself and finally hit that record button or pick up the phone and make that phone phone call or start that business or release that weight? What are you waiting for and what are you scared of? I keep repeating these because I want you to think about it. Every time I say it, I want that, whatever it is that you're afraid of, whatever it is you're waiting for, I want that to come into your mind. So every time it comes into your mind, you can see just how silly it is. It's just something silly that you've created in your mind and now you're waiting for it to go away. It's not going to go away. What are you waiting for? Like the world is literally waiting for you. Like, do you understand that? Do you understand that the world was waiting for a Steve Jobs? Do you understand that the world was waiting for a Ben Carson? Do you understand that the world was waiting for an Oprah Winfrey? There was an, a void in the earth until these people showed up and showed out what are you waiting for there is a void in the earth realm because of you you have gifts and talents that you're sitting on maybe somebody is more does it better than you so what they still don't do it just like you that doesn't matter what are you waiting for there's always going to be somebody that does it better. There's always going to be somebody that's prettier. There's always going to be somebody that just does it a way that we possibly wish that we could. Take, for instance, me. I wish in my wildest dreams, I love my gift. I'm grateful for my gift of encouragement and helping people get from point A to point B and, and being that bold truth teller to a lot of people. I'm grateful for that gift. However, if I could have picked my gift, my gift would have been singing and dancing. I love to sing and dance and I can't do either one. So what are you doing with the gifts that God gave you? What 
are you waiting for? This is just me and you talking. It's just us. And I want you to write it down what you're waiting for. And I, even if it's bizarre, because by the time you get it out of your head onto that sheet of paper, you're going to see how bizarre it is. That's why I'm enforcing to write it down. When you write it down, when you write down what you're waiting for and what you are afraid of, just look at it and think about, is this a reality? Is this really going to happen? Is this really going to happen? After you write it down, I want you to ball it up, throw it away, and I want you to go and be about the business of doing what it is that you have been sent here on this earth to do. There's so many people that have gone on that didn't use their gifts and talents to better this world, but you still have that opportunity. If you're watching this video, you have that opportunity that millions of people don't have. Take advantage of that. Don't take it for granted. Because one day, I promise you, as sure as I'm sitting here, it, you're not going to have that opportunity. So go forth in what it is that you're called to do boldly with all the confidence that you can muster in the, in the time and space that you're in right now. And I promise you, when you step out there and do it, number one, you might come back and smack yourself for waiting for so long because you're going to realize, I waited for all this time for this. That's typically how it works out. We put something off for so long and then when we finally go and do it, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I waited all this time and this is the turnout and it's totally amazing. Why was I waiting all that time? Let this be the moment right here and right now. Let this be that moment that you make the decision that you're not gonna watch another video. You're not gonna, and I love y'all watching my videos. I appreciate it so, so, so much. But make a decision that you're not going to watch another, you're not going to wait until another video to, for the next video to come. You're not going to wait until you go to another class. You're not going to wait until you finish that book. Make the decision that right now is when you are going to take the action that is necessary for you to get to where, from where you are, to where you see yourself. Get your dreams back. Forget the people that aren't dreaming with you. When you step out there and you start following your dreams, you are going to naturally attract other people that are chasing their dreams. So often people sit around and wait for a great person to come around not realizing that you are that great person. And when you take action, other great people will come and join you too. It's the law of attraction. Whether you believe in it or not, it works. It's a reality. It's real. So I'm going to ask you for the last time. What are you waiting for?